Get a clap. Let me I focus on your hands better. This is the actual clap. All right. It's clapped. All right, we're going to League yeah. of Legends room. Let's do this. So this room's usually the Q room. Yep. For you know, every year we said they should use the Q room for something because they otherwise only use it in the very, very beginning, and then it's useless all day, and people just like sit there doing nothing. So, the one thing I would change about packs, they changed. Yeah. I don't know what and else they to got say. this out of an important area that it was stealing previously. Yep. So. so now these people can do their thing, and I can not give any shits about it. Because I honestly just don't like MOBAs. I <laughs> really uh, So is Strife a MOBA? Is this new thing? Well, it's got a big booth, which means it's probably bad. Bigger booth means badder. Is that really how it works? I think that's how it works. Remember Titanfall? That's true. I thought that was Firefall. Titanfire? Firefall. Let's check out Strife. It's got a booth. Actually, I like the character designs. I can't deny. They're a little... I don't know, it's like fantasy plus technology. I see that going on there. Oh, look, Grim, you can ride. You you have a trend of riding things at oh, PAXs. I wonder if the same company made that that made the Demon Horse. They're going way easy on her, though. Let's go take a look, closer look at that. I mean, the demon horse hit me in the nuts. I mean, that's what you do, is you ride things at PAX, right? Rim can ride the fantasy dragon. It's kind of a ugly dragon. It's got, like, this goblin face going on. Yeah, you wouldn't... I don't think you should want to ride that. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see if anybody gets hurt. Mm -hmm. I'm mostly invested in people getting hurt on these things. Is there someone manually controlling it? There has to be. Yeah, it's him right there. Look, he's got like a joystick thing. That guy. He's hiding in the bag. He's totally controlling it. Whatever. Go for it. You're cool, dude. You work in this booth? Yes. Tell me you want to tell me about this game? Uh, have you ever played a MOBA before? So it's a MOBA? Yes. Okay, yep. we're good. <laughs> I like your art style. The art style is really nice. I'm actually one of our artists. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Right, that means a lot to me, thank you. Yeah. I like this like technology fairy thing you got going on here. Uh, Blazer, she's my baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll be honest, I'm probably not going to play because it's a MOBA, but make another game that looks like this. Uh, so we do have single player elements. We have oh, really? Yeah. This dragon, however, is not as adversarial as I expected. <laughs> Need a scarier dragon? Well, after that demon horse. Here's the fan gamer booth. Good t-shirts. Yeah? Thing is, I own more nerdy t-shirts than I'll ever need my whole life. Well, what are you carrying there a bag of t-shirts for? Because it's the 10th anniversary. Oh, look at that one with the snake, though. Oh, that's up your alley. That's very Boas to see. Let me check out the snake shirt. Boas to see. Boas to see. That snake shirt looks good. You can buy all this stuff from their website, though, right? I think so. Oh, look at that Ouija World shirt. I think that's new. Yeah, check out that Ouija World shirt. With the ghost on it. Yeah. All right. Oh, look at the Retronaut. Oh, see that thing? I like the Retronaut shirt, but it's an advertisement for Retronauts, which I don't care about yeah. at all. I just want a shirt in that style. Right. That style being Atari game cover. Uh, Pence is expoing. Ooh. Pence. His gunner optics. I still don't know if this stuff is bullshit or not, but you it's been what? around for years. They you, must be making money. You can achieve everything they do just by changing the color balance on your monitor. That's true, but you know what else? The thing is, I do like the style of their frames. Yeah. Like, I gotta be honest. Are you getting too into cyberpunk? You gotta wear weird glasses all the time? Right, I like like the ones they have in the top left there. Wow, oh, those are very similar to my normal prescription glasses. Some awesome cosplays right here. Are these uh, some... Clearly from a MOBA. Yeah, they gotta be League of Legends or Dota or something. <laughs> I feel old, but I can't tell. I don't know either. I'm sure they'll tell you if you ask them. It's like how it's, you know, how many anime cons have we gone to over the years? I don't recognize, there's this one class of cosplay I just don't recognize. <laughs> what are you doing? Trying to close my bag. I'll close your bag. For those of you at home who cannot see what <laughs> I'm doing, I'm closing Scott's bag. Rim's got his hands all over my sack. I do. 
Let's go check out the tank. Oh, I did not notice that tank. Is this for World of Tanks? I think it is World of Tanks, yes. Wargaming.net? Wargaming.net. I think Wargaming.net is World of Tanks. I'm not 100% sure, but it is 100% sure. World of Tanks would have been a lot more fun if I didn't have to pay money to get better tanks. It's a tank. It's not a real tank, though. I guess not. Not like when they had that tank, what, two years ago? Oh, the one that was driving around outside? When they let us stand on top so of now, it at the end? Why would you wait in line at the Twitch booth for? Because <laughs> you got to see your video games right now. Oh, I think they're actually giving me these bags of Twitch. I actually kind of want a Twitch bag. That'd be cool. Like, Twitch is one thing. I wouldn't mind having a merch with their logo on it. I entered a contest to win a Twitch bag. I don't know if I won it. I did buy a Twitch shirt when they were doing um, uh, Tsunami Relief oh, yeah. t-shirt sales. So here's Nintendo. Look at that Pikachu. Uh, Look at Pikachu's ass. That Pikachu is in every pack. So here's the Pokemon card game they're doing. This is going to be on mobile devices. But isn't just the same Pokemon card game just on mobile, like the old physical one? Right, but you get to play it on your phone and, and like not on a Nintendo thing. You can play this on your iPad, I guess. You know, maybe it'll compete for the... Oh, no, the, actually, uh, or is it a website? I'm not sure. It'll, it'll get little kids to play this instead of Hearthstone. Because little kids are not invested in uh, the Hearthstone I'll be honest mythos. with you. If it, this, it, this might be a better game than Hearthstone. Could you play a whole game of it while you're pooping, though? No, uh, I don't know. I haven't played it since I was in, like, high school, so... Oh, that's the LED panel I need. Look at that thing. Yeah, let's see. So this is the video setup we need that we don't have. So look at those panels up there. They got two of them. I we've got one like bootleg version they of those panels. They have a white background. They're just way uh, better at this than we are. Good. We got kicked out. We got pushed back. So yeah, this is so one day that Twitch logo is gonna be a Geek Nights logo. <laughs> one day. One day. Because really, you don't need to be special to have this. You just need money. You want to just pay money next year? How much do you have enough money for this? I could do that once probably. All right, do it. We'll share it with Date Nighto. Ah, uh, <laughs> actually, that's not a bad idea. Have the live Date Nighto. You know what we got to do? You have the Date Nighto people doing, like, relationship advice based on dating games. That's a bad idea. Anyway. That's the best idea. Games. Is oh, that, oh, we're at the Sky Bridge already. Yeah, it's the suitcase to carry your Xbox. Why does this room you? feel smaller than usual? So... I feel like this is solved by owning a laptop. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> the PS4 is updating. That's an Xbox, Scott. Is it? Yes. I can't even tell. But it's updating. I feel like this is just a bad laptop. This is like a laptop from the 70s. But I mean, if you're a kid... Right, and you have an Xbox. You bring it to Grandma's house and just plug it into Grandma's TV. But people are using Grandma's TV to watch football on Thanksgiving. Grandma has two TVs. We live in the 2010s. Grandma's TV doesn't have HDMI input because it's Grandma's house. Grandma usually bought her TV. No, Grandma didn't even buy her TV. A relative bought it as a gift, and she didn't know how to set it up. You went camping in the woods. How are you going to plug that shit in? Your generator in the back of your truck. No, 3DS. I'm just saying... This has a use for somebody that is not us. I suspect that's still going to be updating when we walk back over here. All I'm saying is that the device is useful for someone. That person is not anyone that is us. It's like those people who would get that. Remember the place, the PS1? You could plug that thing into it with a tiny screen. Extreme dominate. <laughs> oh, Capcom. Let's see what kind of cool Mega Man stuff they oh, got. Look at that uh, Mega Man arm. Yeah, let's go check it out. All right, these, oh, that's only 30 bucks. That plushy uh, Proto Man arm. You want to buy the Proto Man arm? I don't want to buy it. I want you to buy it. That is not going to happen. Oh, the inflatable one's five bucks. You're going to buy that. <laughs> if I buy it, I'm just going to walk around hitting people with it until someone takes it away. ThinkGeek.com is going to sell these, uh, phys these coats, oh, I think, or something. That hoodie is actually pretty cool. Look, it's like a hoodie coat. And the hood unzips. Not bad. Uh, wow, they're selling a lot of stuff. I would buy that for like 
$80, but not $180. It's a Halo booth, I guess, right? Oh, Borderlands. Oh, no, it's, it's a Skull Candy booth, but they're used. Here's the thing every booth, like this is this booth is selling headphones. It's Skull Candy, yep. right? But they're playing Halo here. Every booth is like working with another booth to, like, you know, bring different things together. These booths are fucking expensive. That's the only way to do this shit. Hey, look, this booth also has DJ Soup. Think about that guy's job. He was paid to come to PAX and stand there DJing. But he's promoting himself, too. Is he? Did anyone notice his name but us? Tales from the Borderlands. It's that guy wow. did the Kino, right? So, of yeah. course, Borderlands is a big-ass booth. Well, Borderlands is, I mean, people we know who never go to the keynote went because it was Mikey the Borderlands oh, this guy. Oh, the Penny Arcade pin dealer. Wow. I do not want pins. Oh, look, this is Zombie Invades at 11 uh, 1 and 3 5. So they've been partnering with uh, Plans for Zombies. It's interesting because Borderlands is continuing to grow in popularity. All right, so his super giant guys with their. Ooh, they have a new hex based game. Let's check that out. I tire of hex based games, they're all kind of samey. But it looks like... Look at that pirate ship that just came in. Look at, okay, look suddenly, at the front of that pirate ship. I'm just saying, suddenly you're interested in this hex-based game. What happened? The art. Look at that art. That art. Went, look at that shark. Is this going to be... We haven't played any of their games since Castle Crashers. We didn't play Block, thing is, Castle puzzle, Crashers, whatever. you know, controversial opinion. Castle Crashers sucked after the first two levels. Yeah. Well, I mean, is this game going to suck after the first two levels? Uh, I would put money on yes. But are you going to buy this game anyway? Uh, I'm going to trick someone into gifting it to me, and then I'm going to play it. What's the name of this game? Oh, I look, he's, not... he's playing it with... Look at the controls. Oh. Those are the controls. You know, there's something about a minimalist arcade cabinet like that. Like, I almost want at home to make, like, a Nidhogg arcade cabinet that's just... <laughs> I mean, that exists. That existed before Nidhogg on any other platform. Or make a big... Uh, did you see the guy who made the big dive kick arcade cabinet? Dive kick? He had a big foot and a big uh, spring. Oh, uh, his spy party booth looks pretty crowded. I don't need to wait in line to play spy party that I've already owned. Also, I don't know if I even want to play spy party now because I've seen the most epic spy party that could ever happen and, at the Omega. I mean, it's still fun to play it, but it's not something I would play a lot. It's the kind of game that's only, right, it's only super fun if you play it with people who like let's get it. Let's make our obligatory trip to the dice booth. You want to buy some dice? No, but I'm going to look at dice. <laughs> because <laughs> you got I can't help but look at this Scott, dice booth. To this day, I see a nice D20. I really want it. Remember, kids, never have a lot of money before you realize you don't need to own a lot of dice. This guy just run by the dice scoop? No, scoop I don't. Of dice. What am I going to do with that? It's 39, random pitcher full, $39. Well, that's for the pitcher. You yes. can get the mug for Oh, less. this guy's doing the pitcher. I have every year for the last three years. How many what do you, dice do you have? I've got uh, a bin. Uh, I've got a bin. <laughs> what are you doing? With, are you doing something with the dice besides gaming? Or? Just gaming. No? I have friends come over and I go, can I borrow some dice? I said, no. <laughs> <laughs> so I figure if you're buying pictures of dice, you got to be doing something cool like making a dice sculpture. No, I, mean, or... I have a fetish for dice. I do too, but I, I'm holding out. <laughs> <laughs> it's well, very hard for me to not reach when over. I was a kid in the 70s, it was like, you know, it did cost me everything to get like just a, a few dice. And then I had to cover them. Even in the 90s, you couldn't get dice that weren't six sides very yeah, easily. I'm just... You know, so now I'm in my you know fifties. I got income. I'm spending. Yeah. <laughs> All right. More power to you, man. All right. Oh, uh, I don't see any dice that are particularly. Well, they, we oh, can't they see are. through there all they of them. <laughs> oh man, look at those are kind of new. I've never seen that kind before. I'm trying to peek in between the people. I, yeah. I, I always like the ones that are with the snowiness, the icy. Crisp. You know, I never like that. I kind of, you know, the kind of dice I like are the kind that you always shit all over for being too ostentatious. Like these kinds in the middle here. Those are okay. Those are too much though. Those are weird colors. You like these ones? Those are too big. I would hurt myself. Can you imagine playing Burning Wheel with two sixes this, like that? The dice is so crowded. We cannot get decent video. We're just yeah, looking guys. at people's shoulders. Tabletop role playing is still going strong. All right, let's get Chess away. X has got a monopoly. Let's get away from the dice. 
Maybe let's go to the end of the dice booth just so people can see how extensive. That's why we have some There. There we go. Now people can see how extensive the the dice booth is. It's a lot of dice. You know, there was a time when I remember when we first saw those gem dice, like the ones that were carved out of semi-precious stones. If I had a house, I might get one of these. This one's actually different and nicer than ones I've seen in the past for them. It's a more modern style. Like This is more like the old kitchen table we had. It's not very ornate, and it's... You can do shuffleboard in the middle there. Yeah. Look at that. If you get the sand. I think the key to these things is that glass in the this middle. One's you can not set bad. the game up and then you can cover it. Yeah, this one's not bad. Scott, let's, let's move out of the city and buy a house and just play games. Okay. Is Mayfair games? Play settlers? Do nothing else with our lives. You want to play some settlers? All right, here's the big expo hall room. All right, here's the bad part of facts. So we're probably going to see some new stuff in here we haven't seen before. Evolve. Looks like a Quake game. Is it an FPS? No. Yeah. What is this? Is it like Left 4 Dead? Well, look. Medic, Support, Monster, Trapper, Assault. I think it's MOBA-esque. I, but it looks like an FPS MOBA. Is it like Left 4 Dead MOBA? You know, I honestly have been ignoring this game and don't know much about it. The line for it is capped, of course. Pro tip, kids, never stand in line for anything at the PAX Expo Hall. Ever. And actually, but this looks like a new, like an FPS MOBA, right? That could yeah. be, you know. Oh, look at the guy with the gun there. I'm getting this sort of Turok vibe. Let's see. I'm definitely getting a Turok vibe. This actually looks moderately fun. Huh? It's looking a little NSE too. Like natural selection, a little bit yeah. of Turok. There's definitely something to that. It's not all bad. So internet, you know what we're going to do? We're going to go read Google and game blogs about it rather than standing in line for three hours. We saw everything we need to see. Borderlands, the pre-sequel. Oh, I've got that on Steam? We just saw Borderlands over in the other area. Why is it over here as well? Let's go over there. Some old, old scrolls in that oh. direction. <laughs> I played the beta of Elder Scrolls online. Notice I don't play it anymore. I played it for like a couple hours and that was it. I think we're at this point where games like that are open world enough for people to like make up their stories about it, but they're not open world enough for the stories to actually happen. Like It's mostly you... People are not walking, even though there's plenty of open space in front of them. But, like, the people who tell crazy stories about things that happen in these games, those things happen, like, one out of a hundred hours of play. Shadow of Mordor. Let's see. Mordor's trying to get us. Some orc was attacking. We ran away. <laughs> Scott, the trouble is you drew aggro. It's the world's fastest gaming mouse. Uh, I'm sure. Let's go try it out. I've got my Razer. My Razer's good. Is this the world's fastest gaming mouse that he's using? No? Maybe on the other side? I'm already not a fan. It looks too big. Is this it? I think this is it. All right, let's see what's going on Let here. me make sure it's... Yep, yeah, that's it. Okay, world's fastest gaming mouse rim. All right. There's the screen. Uh, go try to shoot stuff. What kind of game is this? Some kind of... F probably Call of Duty or some shit. All right. Oh, it's not inverted. I can't play. Press escape. I threw a grenade at myself. Go to the options and change your thing. There we go. Vertical look. No, yes, no. Inverted. inverted. There you go. Oh, someone's shooting at me. Someone's shooting Don't at me. Don't worry about it. Someone's shooting at me. Just whatever. Okay. Did it say what game it is? <laughs> yes. Now everyone else who plays this is going to be really unhappy with me. All right. I'm assuming it's while. Oh, look. Look at the keyboard. It lit up what keys yeah, I need to use. I, my keyboard's like that, too. Mine is not like that. All right. Let's go. How's the mouse? The mouse is okay. It's okay? Is it fast as game mouse are all in the world? Weird, so I can't really tell. Would you buy one? Uh, if my razor ran out, maybe. Hey, a guy in a car. Eee, I'm in the buggy now. Here we go. Is your mouse still inverted? Yes. 
You know, actually, I was going to, like, shit all over this mouse and make fun of it. It's way more comfortable than my Razer. Like, way more comfortable. I think the key is, see this nub here? You, like, stick your thumb in the nub. You like it? I like it. How much is it? It's also way light. How much money is it? Uh, I have no way to tell Let's that. Let's go talk to Logitech people. G502. Right, let's see what buttons I got here. So I got a button, button. Oh, look at this. Look at this pad. Hold you like on. put your thumb. Hold on one second. Oh, you can't, you can't focus? I got to focus on it. This guy can't focus. It's got a pad that you rest your thumb on. Okay. That's why it's so comfortable. Okay. It, it, this is the first mouse I've seen that facilitates because so I your thumb my, isn't on the table. Nope, your thumb's not on the table because when I play, most most grognards play like this. They put their hand like all over the fucking mouse like that. Ah. I've always played like this. I don't even move my wrist at all when I play FPSs. This mouse actually allows me to do that. I might buy this mouse. <laughs> all right, well, you buy it. I might. I might so buy they it. They got their money's worth opening this booth, I'm right? I'm not going to buy it now because the way we're rigged <laughs> right here, there's no way I'm going to get to my wallet. I don't think they're going to sell it to you right now. Here, take the pins you remember. Oh, it's a Logitech guy. How much yeah. is the crazy mouse? This one? Yeah. This one is um, $69.99. That's the less that I paid for my Razer that's worse than this. So that's the world's fastest gaming mouse? No, this is this is the Proteus Core. This has Surface Tool. This isn't the world's fastest mouse, but it oh. is pretty darn good. Uh, so, so what's, what what's the, the difference fastest? between this one and that one? The other one has a accelerometer um, gyroscope in it. Like in, like in your phone? Yes. So, so if the if the laser optical sensor stops working, it's going to use the data from the gyroscope instead to yes. figure out where to move your cursor. Until you get better tracking again, and then it gets back. Right. So, how much does the other crazy mouse cost? That one's a, bit, a little bit lower, so that one's fifty nine ninety nine. Really? Oh. Oh. Huh. So the fast, the world's fastest gaming mouse is cheaper than this one. This one has weights and it is surface tunable. So surface tunable means like you can, like this is a mouse pad, so you would tune it like be... Tune it to mouse pad. So if it works really great on black surfaces, on a white surface, it won't track quite as good. Uh, but if you tune it on that surface, it'll work just as good. Oh, check this out. I can switch to your free wheel. Yeah, so does my mouse does that too. My Razer doesn't do that. I have a Logitech, but it's older than this one. Yeah. yeah. You do have to be a little careful because there's a lot of moving parts in it. You don't want to just throw it in your backpack. You can, uh, you can kind of break it. But, I mean, it's they're very sturdy things. It's only if you're just really good. Well, I mean, if you buy a gaming mouse, you keep it on your desk. We don't yeah. go to land parties or whatever. So not it's anymore. not a, yeah, it's not an issue. I'm digging this little nub here. You're the one who's playing a lot of Counter-Strike. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you're done with Counter-Strike. Well, thanks a lot. I might buy that mouse because my uh, razor is kind of starting to wear out. The evil within. Put yourself on the box art. Oh, okay. Oh, I see what they're doing. Yeah. That's cute. That's cute. Let's check out this brain. Oh, it's wrapped in barbed wire. How edgy. It's a brain. Oh, no, it's a house. Oh. <laughs> It symbolizes that the brain stem, the lower part of our consciousness... Is in our home? ...is our house, and that's where we actually live. And outside of that is a scary brain wrapped in barbed wire. Uh, here's your old scrolls. Ah, you know what I forgot to bring? Dude, I should, make some, I should get some new scrolls. <laughs> How about just some scrolls? I know, right? Why isn't there someone, you know, the Geek Cheek people, why aren't they making just, like, big scrolls? There is a game called Scrolls. It's a, made by the Minecraft people. <laughs> I'm well aware of that. <laughs> What's this? Is this also a MOBA? An F oh, it looks like an FPS with some weird characters. This looks like Pirates Vikings Knights almost. Okay, so we got like a... Those characters, Emily would like these characters actually. Yeah. This reminds me a lot of Pirates Vikings Knights. It's like a team fortress with a different art style, big swords. Lots of uh, melee. Lots of melee. Takes a lot of hits to go down. Lots of blood. Yeah. Let's go check out their statues. 
You know, I've never been a big dude, fan. Dude, check of, out that dude. your lanyard is awesome. That's a good lanyard. <laughs> I've never been a big fan of the first-person melee instead of the first-person shooter. Yeah. Like very rarely are they done well. They got statues All right. that they're gonna put in now, their office. Look at the mustache on that guy. That is a mustache. I can respect this game. I kind of want to play a new FPS. Some awesome enforcers enforcing. Just so that right, I don't have to deal with the, the, line for the magic people. booth. Oh look, they've got a waterfall of mist. Oh, you get to take your picture with the the axe and the stuff, right, with the guy. And that mist they're, is coming and out here. And mist is getting all over the place. And I guess you can see some new magic cards. Or, oh, no, it's mostly for the magic digital version. Let's go over here. This way? Yeah. Here's a booth that no one's going to, the SanDisk booth. <laughs> <laughs> you can buy some memory I cards. I need some more. I anyone just need, Anyone need a USB stick? <laughs> Who needs USB sticks? <laughs> they're, three st they're ten times faster than USB <laughs> 2. So he, oh, here's the Alienware tiny computer. Yeah. So you could get this as your HTPC from Alienware, and it's good enough to play Street Fighter on, apparently. Yeah, that means it'll play most games. Yeah, Street Fighter, again, needs a lot of CPU. Oh, you know? Here's a computer with three video cards that you don't ever need in your whole the life. The case, however, is kind of cool. The case is cool, but would you really Wait, put that in your so house? Let's go back in time. Remember we used to build computers? Most of what went in there was motherboard, hard drives, and all these expansion cards. This is mostly video card. If you buy this computer, you're dumb. How much power is this thing using? But it is actually a creative de design when you think about it, right? In, the, in terms of the airflow and how easy it is to put together. Yep. Um, but I still wouldn't buy one. Well, because and nowadays... I, no like, one needs three video cards. I mean, what do you put in your computer <laughs> nowadays? You don't even put hard drives in. The hard drives are all in the NAS. Right, so here's some game called Grey Goo, which looks like a space combat -y thing. That's atmospheric combat, Scott. They're definitely in atmosphere. Oh. Railgun, auto flag. So it's like battleships in the sky fighting each other. Huh. It's a pretty big map. Look you, up there at the mini map. Yeah, do you control just one of these? Looks like it. This guy's going down. He's not even really moving. You know, I'm kind of a fan that of That effect the, didn't look very good. I'm these, kinda, they need to work on their explosions, I think. I am kind of a fan of the uh, slow combat, though. I bet it's pay to win. Uh, all games are pay to win now. Any game in this expo hall. I don't uh, know that for sure. I could be wrong, but I'm just betting. Well, this is a pre-alpha build, so I'm not going to hold it to I'm not going to hold them too bad for their bad uh, explosions. Sonic right, the Hedgehog is back. Toy Soldiers War Chest. That looks like worth looking at for a minute. Oh, those flashing lanyards are for Dreadnought. Oh, okay. I bet if we go over there as press and play the game, we could get a flashing lanyard. We don't lanyard. want a flashing lanyard. I want a flashing lanyard. This is like tower defense FPS. What's going on here? Do you work at this booth? Yeah. Oh, can you tell me about this game? Sure. Yeah, so uh, are you guys familiar with the Toy Soldiers games? Uh, no. So they had previously been released on Xbox Live on Xbox 360. Okay. So this is the first one that Ubisoft is publishing, and it's like, going to be available across all platforms for the first time. So uh, even even like iPads and stuff, or no, it's no, just PC, PlayStation, uh, Xbox. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So not all platforms, Quite, just the, yeah. Not all <laughs> platforms. <laughs> Check out all these oh. assassins creeding. Look at this creed of assassins. There are so many creeds. I wonder, I wonder if we're going to start seeing this as a fashion. The assassins come in so many creeds. The heavy hood. So many assassins. That's the best hood of all the hoods, I think. All right. It's the lowest, most forward That's one. That's Rim's favorite assassin. I'll take the pirate one. Eh, pirates are overplayed. Pirates are so, like, a couple of years ago. Sonic Boom! Rim! <laughs> it's Sonic Boom! Oh, look, look, two tails up there on the, uh... Wow. All right, let's check out Sonic Boom, because... Ooh, look at all these toys they got. All right, let's check out all the Sonic shit for the furries out there. Yeah, this all is right. for you, Internet furry. So here we got Sonic plushie. We've got a little Sonic figure, a little Dr. Robotnik metal figure thingy. Ooh, a little Sonic toy where you pull it and he, he runs fast. Pretty good. Some other kinds of weird stuff. Let's go over here. Are these new toys? They look like retro toys. It could be. I think I, they're retro. That's cool. 
Let's check out Sonic Boom, the game. Oh, no, they're not, because that's the Sonic Boom uh, box. Yeah, all right. Sonic Boom. Is, it, right. a, is it a racing game? It looks like 3D Sonic. It looks like that stupid uh, Palace Runner game that everyone plays on their phones. What, Sonic doesn't have a grappling hook. Now he does. It does look like a racing game. Well, if it's a racing game, uh, the Sonic franchise has gone in that direction previously. But as opposed to be racing in carts, it's like you're just racing as Sonic. Well, that other one, they were just running, I think. Can't slow Sonic down. Sonic's doing pretty well right here, I gotta admit. It's a Wii U game. Well, then I guess we'll never play it. <laughs> All right. Oh, well, these are quality. Brim, you want to take a picture with Sonic? Once again, Internet Furries is for you. Okay. I'm Everyone curious. is playing Smash Bros. Yeah, you want to know why? Because these kids are going to be super competitive in this game. Let's go and take a look. Let's go take a look. We got to take I a look. I am not going to be like it alive. I'm a little dubious of the 3DS and Wii U release of this game. A little bit. Check out that street pass. Just trying to see what's going on. All right, we can't really see what's going on there. Maybe if we go to the Wii U ones, we can see the game. Maybe if we just wait till it comes out and buy it, because that's what we're going to do anyway. I already pre-ordered the 3DS one. All Smash right. Bros. 3DS Smash Bros. That's who Little Mac. Oh, my God, Little Mac. So it seems like there's less characters in the Wii U one. Maybe they're not all unlocked? Maybe. Samus is in there, though. That's good. What's Greninja? Is that a Pokemon? Villager. I think everyone's playing the single-player beat up the sandbag. Oh, are they? Yeah. <laughs> so Blizzard's got Hearthstone. Oh, look at shark but, dress. Ooh, but Blizzard also dress. is showing off their Heroes of the Storm, which is the MOBA that supposedly won't suck. We'll which, see. Which I'm interested in, actually, to be honest. Because supposedly it's a MOBA that removes all the bullshit. Oh, so let's check out the Zelda Fighty game. So it's this is sort of like Destiny War Destiny Warriors uh, Dynasty Warriors Dynasty Warriors. Thank you. <laughs> you know what it also kind of looks like. I remember, haven't played that game since college. Remember in Link Between Worlds there was the Challenge Tower that was stupid. This is like that. Well, I think so. Dynasty Warriors. Look at that it's Moblin though. His butt was so big. Look yeah. how many rupees came out of that dude. Look how many Moblins there are. All right, let's check out Blizzard. Because I'm not going to, even if I had a Wii U, I wouldn't buy that game, nope. even though it's a Zelda game. That's a game that you play at a friend's if house. If I was going to buy that, I would play Dynasty Warriors Gundam, which I think might even be a PS2 game that I could just get. All right, let's there's check. There's Heroes of the Storm. Yeah, here's the Blizzard MOBA. Let's go and check it out. And there's Hearthstone. Yeah, well, I want to see. I play, can play Hearthstone right now. I want This I yep. can't play today, so let's at least look at it. Well, it looks like a MOBA. Yeah. We're going to duck, duck, you know, like duck type in. We're going to duck genre this game. It looks like a MOBA. Feels like a MOBA. It is a MOBA. They're not even lying. They're not even saying it isn't. It is. It just supposedly removes all the bullshit. But then it's not a MOBA. <laughs> it's not a MOBA without the bullshit, even though it's exactly like a MOBA. Dude, most people, if they think of MMO, they think of Warcraft. The world. I think these people are just playing Hearthstone, which is not... But check out the Shovel Knight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Shovel Knight is playing Hearthstone. So awesome. Oh, there's a World of Warcraft expansion. We don't care about that at all. I wonder who does. I feel like that game is sort of, like, not dying, but not growing. So if you beat this person at Hearthstone, you get some memory. apparently really good at Hearthstone and probably has legendary bullshit. Get some RAM. You can win some RAM sticks. Oh, look at those RAM sticks. Oh, man. The fanciest RAM sticks you've ever seen. Oh, my God. Such good RAM sticks. Those are too tall. DDR4. Man, my computer need, my computer's calling me. It's like, Scott, buy the ramp. Look at this. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Can't this is the person you have to beat at Hearthstone ah. to win ram sticks. Well, Scott, if the let's game has go, a lot of random luck BS, you should just go play until you win. Well, I think you have to use the deck they give you. Just keep getting in line. 
Oh, uh, that's a good that's a good guy to get at the start, the Undertaker. So that guy she put out when right, basically any time. Are you gonna spoil the game for the guy on the other side? Oh. Uh, we gotta talk on a delay. Oh, he's got the same deal. All right, this guy does not have play. He used the coin to put out a guy that cost two uh, when he had two. He didn't need to waste the coin on that. I wonder if he can hear us. He looks chagrined now. Power Rangers game. And on Namco. Oh, here's the Pokemon fighting game. Oh, no, it's uh, Digimon. Uh, <laughs> uh, sorry. Scott, the entire internet is super mad at you right now. That's tough. Oh, Naruto fighting game. This is the Namco booth. And meanwhile, I don't see Pac-Man, Galaga, or any of my friends here. I don't see uh, Namco High. But I do see Cardboard Naruto. That's pretty good. How about that Cardboard Naruto room? Actually, you know what? That is fucking horrifying. <laughs> Actually, oh I'll my god! <laughs> Put it in the bat. I don't need two. <laughs> One is enough. That's getting made tonight. <laughs> no, that's getting made in tabletop. Let's get awesome. <laughs> Seriously, play games. Try to win, but really try to win. When it's your turn, be thinking about what to do. When it's not your turn, be thinking about what to do. Don't be thinking about getting beer or anything. Think about yeah. Time. Distract everyone around you, but you're thinking the whole time. If you lose a game, figure out why. If you win a game, figure out why. If you don't know why you won, you lost. <laughs> be a dick. <laughs> Said, don't be a dick. Be a dick in the context of the game. <laughs> Within the game, it's okay to attack someone for the win. Outside the game, it's like a game, bro. Yeah, you gotta shake hands after the game. You've got to be the most horrific genocidal dictator the world has ever seen inside of that game of Civilization V. But you've got to be a human being outside of that game. 